I just love, and this is part of the work I love uh, diving into as well, is is how the feminine inspires the masculine. So I know you've heard me already speak about how our own inner feminine energy inspires our masculine energy into action. That's inspired action. That's when we don't get exhausted. It's like me doing this work right now. I'm not going to lie. I have been tired this week. I'm, I'm outputting quite a lot. Um, but I, the action is so inspired. I'm so passionate. I'm loving it so much that I've got this inner fuel that's, that's like keeping me going. Like it's just stoking the fire. And it just keeps me going. And it's just a, its own internal combustion engine. I'm not like having to reach outside of myself for energy. It's all internally driven because it's inspired guidance. Um, why am I sharing that with you? Yes. Also, women, the, the empowered feminine inspires the empowered masculine. So how we as women show up with our men has a huge impact on them. Massive impact. If we show up in our power, with love, speaking our truth, it's incredible how it inspires them to step up and be more and be their best version. I genuinely think, and this is no disrespect to men at all, um, they need us. They need us to inspire them. They need us to help them be who they came here to be. It's really important. We, we play a very important fundamental role with men to be our best selves so that we can inspire them to be their best selves. And we need them too. We need them to hold safe space for us so that we can be the creative, collaborative, intuitive, spiritual, touchy-feely person in the relationship, right? So we need them to hold the space for us to do that. So that's what James and I have. And what's really interesting though as well is, um, was it yesterday or the day before we were on a dog walk and he was sharing an experience with me of, of bumping into some people we know and he said, Katie, it was so interesting. I could feel their energy before they even said any words. I was like, oh, wow, okay. He said, he said you know how you always say you feel it. I, 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 can, I can feel what's going on for somebody before I even see them. Like I just, I'm tapped in like that. And I can just, I can just feel it. I can feel your words through the screen. And when I'm reading your notes in the Facebook group, I, could, I feel you. And um, it, it's, it's just what I've become highly attuned to be able to, to do. I receive through that feeling. And James is such a logical, he's so masculine. He's a very manly man. He's very logical and he's much, very much a thinker. And, um, he's also super sensitive, doesn't really realize that. And he is. And he said to me, you know, you've shown me. You've shown me how to feel somebody's energy without having to actually hear what they have to say or have evidence or proof of it. I just know. He said, I just knew what I was turning up to when I met them and I just, I just, I felt them. And I thought that was really amazing. And that's, that's, you know, it's not me teaching him that. And I don't want to teach him anything. I, you know, we, it's just me being me has rubbed off on him. And so it's the feminine inspiring the masculine. And it's wonderful. It's really lovely. And he enjoys it. 